Hello once again everyone and welcome to Cruznik Sanctuary. I'm your host Cruznik X, alongside me is Arya Stormborn and Sandman Delta. Good lord. In the last episode we... what did we do? Uh, we killed, uh, we killed the sword? And oh yeah, we destroyed... Big, yes, we, just, we had to kill a big ass knight who wasn't really that much of a problem. Oh yeah, we destroyed the shrine of Oryx. Um, so that was a whole fun thing. Our next, uh, our next, uh, order of business is to take on the next part of the actual storyline. So we're going to be going back to the moon and completing the level 9 story, Chamber of the Night. So let's get right down to it. Okay, I'm actually really curious. Um, instead of just messaging me on... PlayStation, do you want me to just give you my cell phone number? Nah, it's all good. This poor band-aid is so Bridge damn dirty. Coming on all channels. From the speaker. Nothing is more important now. We believe the hive are engaged in a ritual that is draining the traveler of its light. Whatever power they wield must be. Oh no. It's not going to be understood. It's just going to be destroyed. It's legit uh, all it is. Wow, that's that's bad. We can't let that happen, right? This ritual could be well, I mean, I could I could just sit here right now and not do anything. If we can find cracks deep enough, that's true. Oh wait, we got to go this way. Uh, this handgun is so much fun. Okay, nice. Scan, but not enough to locate the ritual yet. Let's keep looking. That's why I love it so much. Because I can do this to people. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole lot of. I feel like that. I feel like that little brother who's like, wait for me! Or like Uncle Ruckus in the Christmas episode of the Boondocks. Back up! I need backup! I'm fat! I can't run very fast! I think I've got I'm getting a heart attack and a couple of light strokes! <laughs> Hold on. I got it. You dead. You dead. But we have to go deeper into the Temple of Crota. You're dead. Damn it. Owned. Jerks. Game, could that reload be any slower? What were you reloading? Shotgun. Owned. God, my sparrow sucks. The chamber of the night. I'm almost there, I think. Oh, yeah. I don't know. My sparrow's a clunky piece of shit. Oh, what the? What the frick? That's in. Oh, I'm You're not even okay. there yet. That's all the point. I'll just, it'll just auto bring you to me.
interesting. Not entirely interesting, but you have promise. Who is that? I don't know. I'm losing the signal. Guardian, I know what you're about to do. It's brave. But there are enemies out here you would not believe. Out where? Go down and face the hive. And if you live, come find me. If I live, huh? I got some broken coordinates. Venus, Northern Hemisphere, Ishtar region. Great. What do we do now? We go we down. Go down. <laughs> Obviously. to be fucking terrible. Yep. Owned. Yep. What the? Guess what? Am I yeah, lagging no, or something? No, no, they just sometimes do that. Alright. I felt like they teleported out of the way of my shot, and I I, I was just left this there poor, sitting impotently. This poor, this poor witch, dude. That was really good. Phenomenal. I feel I feel half bad for this witch because of what I'm about to do. Done. You done smacking me in the back of the head? That's good. Oh god, don't punch those things. But what if I want to punch those things? You'll get one shot. Just like the I know. If we don't finish this, there'll be more of these people. Hive Cedar? That sounds dirty. <laughs> Without any context whatsoever. No, 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 no. You don't get to fucking run away. You you can go blow the fuck up. <sighs> oh, well, okay. oh, yay. Fuck him up. up. Did we get him? And, and she got raped. Right. Wrecked. Massacred. Hell. Oh, how dare you dodge? Now I'm gonna shoot you in the face at point blank range. Down, Bob. You made one orb. Look at you, you did it. Yeah, that was terrible, I know. That was a noob move. Oh, just open the door, will you, Terrence? Three zero of three witches killed. Will you just pick up the jar, Jenkins? Dead. Come here, dead. Hey, dead. Okay, game. I'm I'm getting game. I'm sick and tired of the goddamn reload. It's fucking dragon. 
Okay, this door open first. Hey, save some fun for the rest of us. So, I need to ask something that I don't even remember in this game. What the fuck is Eris Morn's deal? Did she like slowly change into like a fallen or something? No, she died. She's high? Oh, she's high. Oh. So basically what happened was, is that she went down into the summoning pits to go and kill a guy named Crota. Well, Crota spawned before she could, uh, before she could, uh, before her fire team could kill, um, kill his crystal. Okay. Um, what ended up happening was, is, uh, what ended up happening was that Crota, not only did he attack them, he also then spawned a uh, hive knight known as Alakul, and multiple different death singers, which are the witches, and in a span of maybe like five, six hours, Eris Morn was the last one left of a six of a six man fire team. Huh. And basically what she did was, is that she grabbed an acolyte and cut out its eyes because Crota had stolen all of her light. And she cut out its eyes and then put it on her face because he had literally turned her into nothing. Wow. She lost her eyes. She created her own eyes. Now she has three because she has, she basically stole the brain, eyes, and eyes of an acolyte, and that's why they bleed when you see her, because she, um, because she had to carve out so much of the acolyte's head to be able to have this, and she basically played and toyed around with the hive while going and getting through the shadows. When she came back to the to the city, the tower, uh, she was instantly rejected because of the fact that she was now a hive, basically. Hot damn. Um, and the only reason she wasn't kicked out is because now that she's a uh, hive, uh, hive bane, that basically means that she could literally go up to Crota again, and he would not be physically able to do anything considering she now basically smells like hives. So she could walk around with all the hive gods. They wouldn't be they wouldn't know that she's actually bad. Huh. <clears throat> Hot shit. So um even in a in a taking king on the last mission regicide um when you're about when you have to go kill Oryx, the guy with Oryx's shrine. Yeah. Um Cade will say this at the very beginning. Okay, creepy sidekick, check, that's Eris. <laughs> Roguish commander, check, that's Cade. And then he'll be like, and then we have the Guardian, my greatest success story. <laughs> so, what's funny about Eris is that um, she, uh, at the end of the uh, Sunless Cell Strike, which is the strike that you do, that you can do, one of the Taken King strikes that you can do is, 
when you yeah. kill Ala Cool, she basically says, Thank you, Guardian. Just remember that Ala Cool was there when we tried to defeat Crota. Hmm. Basically, what Ala Cool is, when you get into the Sunless Cell, at first, all, basically, I'll just say this you have to kill a Hive Knight, which doesn't sound too hard, right? Wrong. Um, the cell that he's currently in would. Okay, um. Are you in, like, a bedroom or, like, a room? Any type of small room right now? An 11 by, an 11 by 10 room, yes. Okay, so what I want you to do right now... Does the room have a door? Yeah. Go to the door right now and then shut it. Alright? Well, I can't exactly shut it from here because my headset's hooked into my mic. Okay, then have uh, your girl friend shut it. I'm gonna mimic Jeez, the. I'm, I just want to mimic the light source, the amount of light you get to see this bastard night. All right. So could you please have her shut the door? <clears throat> uh, well, the door is already shut. Okay. Now what I want you to do is I want you to turn your light off and all lights off in your room, and then turn your TV off. Okay, we'll turn. We'll try and turn off stuff. This might be a little weird. All you have to do is turn the light off in your room, like your main light, and any other lights that are on, and then turn your TV off. Since you're on a PlayStation, your PlayStation will yeah, still be on. Yeah. Uh, tur he, he's trying to give me an example of how dark it's a, it's supposed, a certain cell's supposed to get. So. Uh, yeah, I'll hit the light. Hit the light, hit, hit your PS4, and hit your uh, uh, you laptop. No, no, you just have to, you just have to, uh, she doesn't have to turn her PlayStation uh, 4 off. She, you just have to turn, turn off, off the like, monitor. You have well, to turn off a monitor and turn off the TV. Like, anything that is, like, yeah, the she PlayStation can't turn light. off. She can't turn off the monitor. Alright, then that's fine. So, basically, if, imagine if that monitor was turned off. That is not even close to how dark that place is. Like, legit, the only way you can see him is if you shoot him. Huh. Once you get his health all the way down, then his head, his head pops off, and then you can sort of see him. Huh. It's a pain in my ass. Oh, yeah, I think I remember that fight now. Yeah, that was a pain in my dick the la the last time I faced him. And uh, I went with uh I went with a I went with a couple of friends of mine and we were so pissed off about it. See the thing is that's not even really that hard for me to do it, just because I've done it so many times. Literally the object of that strike is run your ass off. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, we can hit the lights again. Okay. We'll just play in the dark. I don't care. Okay. That's fun. Be careful. She might touch you. <laughs> Alright. I gotta find the speaker right quick before we... Hop, skip, and a jump. Off to Tower North. You know what? No. First, first and foremost... I need to do something important. And that is get a new sparrow. Because my sparrow sucks. Still not going to be as fast as mine. <laughs> yeah, no shit. But at least I can get a faster, more... At least I can still get a faster one. This is not the right area. Where is that damn chick? You love it. Here we are. <sighs> Fuck it, I'll take the Nomad.
It's not as fast, but... All right. Now I can go talk to the speaker. There he is. Oh. Up to his same old shit. You are a true weapon of light. Good. Another arms requisition. Hey, you get to get a new gun. And lo, there was much rejoicing. Yay. <sighs> Before we get that. Good morning, Guardian. <laughs> I need flowers. I need shade. Let's see. Um, nah. Backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. Yeah. It seems like the nerves have kicked in, so I don't want to go in the open with the boots. Okay, we can do one more. Actually, let me see. What's the next one on the list? Oh, okay. Summoning pits. Alright, I'm gonna take the pulse rifle, even though I don't need it. And I'm just gonna scrap it. Like I do with everything else. Although I'm sorry, I just never know how long it's gonna take before it kicks in. Fair enough. All right, we're gonna take one last break, and we will be back with more. Until then, that's it for this episode of Cruise Next Sanctuary. Thank you to Arya Stormborn and Sandman Delta for joining us. And thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the show. As always, if you're watching this on Twitch or live on PlayStation and you like this show, click the follow button. Be sure to turn on notifications so you're well informed. And be sure to subscribe to me for access to exclusive videos and live streams. If you're watching this on YouTube and you like this video, click the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel by clicking here. Click here to watch more by me. Click here to watch the next episode. And click here to watch the previous one. Until next time, Cruise the Gex! Signing out!